And now, the continuing story of Another World. Surprised you feel up to giving a party after all this business with Mitch Blake. I feel better about things now. Yeah, I can see that. Why the sudden change? Well, there's only so long you can agonize over something. Oh, that's it? I mean, you just decided to uh, not worry about it so much anymore? Yeah, sort of. I mean, after all, the worst that can happen is that Mitch tells Mac. Yeah, well, a couple of days ago, you would have thought that was the end of the world. Yeah, it still would be. Well, I don't get it. Why are you so calm all of a sudden? I've asked Mitch to come to the party, and he said he would. What? Look, it, it just might work. I mean, you know, I want him to see Mac and me together. Well, he's already seen you together. Yeah, but he's always been so involved with trying to find out my secret. He hasn't seen how happy we are. And you think he's going to see that now? Yes, because we are happy. Rachel. Look, Mom, I know it's a chance, but it, it's worth it. Is this the plan you didn't want to tell me the other day because you thought I was going to talk you out of it? Yeah, don't talk me out of it. I mean, it's the only thing I can do. It, 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 it's going to work. I'm beginning to think that nothing's going to work with Mitch Blake. Look, Mom, think about it. I mean, Mitch keeps saying that I married Mac just for what Mac could give me. And, and he's convinced that if he puts his mind to it, he can give me the same lifestyle that Mac can. Yeah, I know, and I think he's crazy. Yeah, well, why don't I use that? Get him over to the house, have him see us together as a family to see that I love Mac. I didn't marry him for his money. Do you think a party is going to do that? Look, I told him why I was asking him to the party. It just may solve all the problems, Mom. I know it will. Well, maybe, if he believes that you and Mac are happy. He has to believe that. Honey... You're acting like this guy uses common sense. I don't even think he has any. Well, it's too late. I've invited everybody to the party. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. <sighs> I'm not sure I want to see what happens. You're not going to be there? Come on, Mom. I need your support. I don't know, Rachel. I just don't like it. Mary? Oh, yes, Mr. Bishop. Oh, I, um, I seem to have misplaced that little tape that you found, you know, in the tea canister the other day. Right, yes. I put it back in the desk drawer. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. I feel so ridiculously simple-minded because I went to Mr. Gore's office and I forgot to take it with me. Right. <laughs> oh, thank Does you. the, uh, Kate belonged to Mr. Corey? Well, I don't know whom it belongs to at this point, but Mr. Corey is probably a likely candidate since he used to live here. Uh, did you uh, tell Mr. Corey that uh, we found it? Yes, I did, and he suggested I play it, which is really a rather good idea. It also could belong to Brian Bancroft, who used to live here. Oh, I see. So there's no way of knowing how long the tape has been here. Right, Mary. Right. Except I think I can solve the problem now if I can get this little machine to work. Oh. Oh, have you ever worked one of those before? No, I haven't, but I believe I can figure it out. Again, maybe I can. Oh, that's it. Oh. <laughs> that will be all, Mary. Yes, ma'am.
guess I better hang on to this thing till I can figure out what to do with it. Yeah, I'm so glad you could get away for a little while. Yeah, well, I have Look who I found inspecting your flower garden. <laughs> so I see. I didn't expect to see you until later. Well, I was able to cancel a couple of meetings, so I thought I'd come on out. Good. I was just going to ask Mary to make us some lemonade or iced tea. Uh, don't bother, Brenda. I would prefer it if we weren't interrupted. Oh, well, possibly Kid or Joey would like something. No, no thanks. I'm not thirsty at all. Uh, why don't we sit down, okay? All right. All right, fine. Well, then, am I correct in assuming that I'm the last to hear about this decision that Joey's made? Oh, uh, I, I uh, told Joey that I thought possibly he's making a mistake, but I think it's a good idea if we all talk about it calmly and reasonably, don't you, Joey? There's nothing to talk about. I'm not going to change my mind. Oh, I see this is going to go great. Dad, please. Well, honey, how are we going to discuss something if Joey's already decided that his mind can't be changed? I'm sure he's willing to listen to other viewpoints. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what Joey's viewpoint is, but I'd like to hear it from him. Okay. I want me and Kit to move back to our apartment. Okay, that's what you want. Now, what about Kit? We both want it. I'd like to hear that from her. Kit? Joey and I have talked about it, and I agree that it's best if we move back to the apartment. When did Joey talk you into that? I didn't talk her into anything. <sighs> Joey, Dad, uh, it's true. I would have been willing to stay on here with Miranda or look for a house for us, but Joey's convinced me that neither of those solutions would be good for our marriage. And endangering yourself back in that apartment would be? I don't think I'd be in any danger. I disagree. Look, even though we know the break-in had nothing to do with me... Now, listen, nobody can be sure of that. Look, the, the police don't think that there was any connections, and that's good enough for me. Well, it's not good enough for me. Not when my daughter's safety's concerned. Then please, now... Can't we talk without arguing? No, I wasn't looking for an argument from Joey, just some common sense. Well, common sense means doing things your way, right? Uh, uh, all right, now, everybody, just a minute, please. We're not going to come to any solution if we don't approach this thing reasonably. No, you're right. I'm sorry, Joey. Let's start over. All right. You two kids have been away, and I haven't even asked you how your trip went. It was great. Did you enjoy it, Joey? It was very nice to get away. How'd you find your mother? Well, I prepared Joey for the worst, but she seemed to be in pretty good spirits. Oh. We, uh, spent a couple hours a day with her. You know, and she asked me about, you know, what I did and things like that. She seemed very anxious a couple days before you got there. Well, I think that went away once we saw each other. You know, it's been such a long time. <laughs> you know, you're all she's been talking about for the past couple of months. She really took to Joey, didn't she? <laughs> she got me mixed up with Craig Caldwell every now and then. Joey, <laughs> she's on medication. It's affecting her memory. It must be. Did she uh, bring up the kidnapping at all? She asked if I felt safe in Bay City. I didn't tell her about the guards around Miranda's house. Good. I might have upset her. Well, she was pretty calm the whole time, huh? I'm mm -hmm. glad to hear that. And I'd like to keep her that way. So would we. Then you both have got to be more concerned about your safety. If anything were to happen, Ellen could have another relapse. Nothing is going to happen. How can you be so certain because of that? Because I love Kit and I'm going to be with her all the time. I'm not going to let anything happen. You might not be able to prevent it, Joey. I think what Taylor is trying to say is if you just stay here a few more days, we can sort this out. We've, Kit and I, we've already sorted it out. We're going to move back to our apartment. Now, tell me the truth, Kit. Is this really what you want? I, I think it's what we should do. Kit. Are you saying that you don't want to now? No, I'm not saying I don't want to. I'm just saying that I dread... I dread the idea of just being cooped up and trapped all the time. Why didn't you tell me this when we were talking about it yesterday, I huh? I thought you understood. That's how I felt. Oh, I thought I understood. I think the solution, then, is to stay here. Has, has anybody been listening to anything that I've been saying? Yeah, we've all been listening, Joey. We just don't understand your oh, reason. All right, I'll explain it to you. You come from one world, I come from a different world. You expect me to change, and I can't. 
Nobody's expecting you to be anything other than yourself. That's the point. How can I? I am being myself. And being myself is not staying in a fancy place like that. Is that so hard to understand? Yeah, well, I find that point of view immature and foolish. Well, I just can't get through to you. Can I, you please? No, kid, 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 kid. It, it, it's not worth it. It's no use, all right? I just got to get out of this place. What are you going after? Him? No. But I'm going back to the apartment. I think you know why. Well, I can see why you're going, but I can't see why you have to. Dad, my marriage is the most important thing in my life. If I lose him, nothing else matters. But if he takes you back to that apartment, I'm not sure that he loves you as much as you love him. How can you say that? Because if he really cared about your well-being, he would understand how important it is to protect you. He does understand. He just... I want to go as far as you do. All I can do then is hope that what I've said sinks in. Surely, Taylor, you don't expect him to change his mind. He's a bright boy, Miranda. And if we all just sit tight, Joey will come to understand the possible consequences of moving back into that apartment. You really think there's a chance I won't have to go back? Of course I do. But don't you think it's at least worth a try? Not if it means putting Mac and Mitch in the same room. No, I don't. Well, I don't think Mitch is going to say anything at the party. Honey, we never know what Mitch is going to do. That's the problem. Yeah, but he's going to see us together as a family unit. I mean, he's got to respect that. You're talking about a man who's never even had a family. I mean, he's not even going to understand it, much less respect it. Yeah, but think of how much he loves children. He loves your child because he loves you. But think of all the time he spent with Nancy and Corey. Yeah, well, he was just practicing becoming a father. No, he started that long before he knew I was pregnant. Well, now that he knows it, do you think he's going to pull back just because he sees that you and Mac are happy? Yes, he just might do that. That's why I want you and Charlie and Jamie there. I want him to see us together as a whole family. I mean, that's got to mean something to him. He's got to know he can't replace that. Well, he'll have to do it without me. You're not going to be there. I can't. You just said you didn't have any other plans now, for tomorrow. Now, look, honey, I am no good at making believe that things are all right when they're not. Now, Mitch will see right through that, and so will Mac. So what if I kept you away from Mitch? Well, that would make him that much more eager to find out what I was trying to hide from him. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to have Mitch take Miranda to the party. Miranda Bishop? Yeah, why not? Why not kill two birds with one stone? As I mentioned, I'm very interested in doing an article on the gambling club in the unincorporated part of Bay City. Have you decided what kind of article it would be? Now that's your assignment, to come up with a good angle. Shouldn't be too difficult with a place like that. I mean, who knows what goes on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And we've got to find out so we can tell our readers all about it. Sounds like fun. What about photographs? Oh, we're going to use as many as possible with an article like this. Although, Felice will have to come up with an outline first, so you'll know what we're really after. You said my contact will be a hostess there? Yes. Her name is Blaine Grove, and she's willing to be interviewed. I'd like to speak to the owners, too. Oh, now that's one of the little challenges of this article. We've got to find out who the real owners are. Well, the hostess would know, wouldn't she? Uh, I already asked her, and she played dumb. Although that doesn't necessarily mean that she doesn't know. Interesting. Yeah, she's a tough little cookie from Wyoming. So don't let her outsmart you, OK? You really think she'll try? Look, if it were up to Blaine, she'd make sure that the arena came out sounding as harmless as Disneyland. Don't worry. I've got a pretty good dumb act myself. Great. <laughs> she'll never know what hit her. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> You're 15 minutes late, Amy. Sorry, I was running out the door and my Aunt Miranda called. Oh, was something wrong? Well, Kit and Joy are back from my mother's, and they seem to be having a little trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, Dad wants to protect everybody as usual, and Joey's having none of it as usual. 
Well, are they going to move back to the apartment? Not if my father has anything to say about it, and I gather he has a lot to say. Mm. Keep me posted, okay? Sure thing. All right, now I've got a business lunch appointment, so we've got to get back to work. Amy, I've already finished with Felice, so let's move right on to that new fashion layout, okay? Okay, I have some ideas. I no, 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 really forget long. all about them, because I've decided against using the Big Sur location. You have? Why? For the simple reason, Amy, that if we use the layout background of California, all the fashions are going to be labeled as California. So what's wrong with that? We're a national magazine. We don't want our readers to think that we have the usual West Coast, East Coast bias. You have any alternate plan? Yes. Now, this involves you, Craig, so I want you to listen carefully. I'm all ears. I think that we should use a country background. Any specific spot in mind? There's an area just north of Bay City that I think would be perfect. You mean the North Woods? I visited a friend there once. You're right, it's very rugged. Now, this is where you come in, Craig. Me? Yes, you're still the principal photographer on this shot. Oh, wait a minute. That was before you started talking about the woods. What do you think of the idea, Amy? I'm willing to give it a try. You still with us, Craig? Well, you're the boss. What can I say? Yes, I am. And you know, the idea is kind of intriguing. I mean, uh, getting back to nature and uh, all that kind of stuff. You'll probably bring your battery-operated television and your heated sleeping bag. Oh, come on. There's a lodge up there, so it's not going to be that rough. Yes? What? Now, I told you, I wanted those galley proofs by Friday. Well, what's the earliest you can get them to me? No, no, uh, that's not going to work. You're just going to have to put some people on overtime. Tell I me more about the trouble a kid and Joey are having. Not on your life. I've already blabbed too much as it is. Oh, come on, Amy. You know Kit and I are friends. Sorry, Craig. It's really none of your business. I gather from your mood that you didn't have a very cheerful reunion with Dad. It was all right. Come on, Joe. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Look, like I told you, you're Taylor's son, right? Well... Kid is Taylor's daughter. I hope that doesn't keep you from speaking freely with her, too. Look, you went over to Miranda's. You said you'd be there all afternoon, and here you are back again. What happened? I walked out. Did you and Dad have another fight? No, not another fight. Just the same fight that we've been having for the past couple of weeks. He still wants to put you in a house, huh? Yeah, yeah. And when I told him that I wanted to move back to the apartment, he goes through the ceiling. Can't you stay at Miranda's until things iron out? I don't like it at Miranda's. It is not home to me at Miranda's. Besides, she's there, and that makes things even worse. Well, what does Kit want? What? She wants us to be happy. And in order for us to be happy, Rick, I have to be living in that apartment, not some fancy house. Well, do you think she can be happy if she's worried about her safety? Listen, listen, listen to me, all right? Just listen. Uh, I feel like a heel, right? I feel like a heel because I'm worried about myself when she's the one with the real problems. But I am not going to let your father take those problems and use them to, to, to run our lives. Can't you bend a little without letting him dominate it's you? It's not a matter of bending. I mean, it's, I mean it's, 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 one, it's one way or the other. You got me? It's one or the other, not both. No compromise. Well, maybe this time you ought to let him win. No, if I start taking from him now, Rick, then who's to say when, when, when's that going to stop? Just until you know that Kit's out of danger. She's not in any danger. Besides, what I, think your what, 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 what I think your father's using all this to make me the kind of son-in-law that he wants me to be. Now, listen, listen to me. Listen, 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 listen. Now, if all of a sudden we stay in a big, fancy estate, right? We, we, got, we got the fence around us. We got the dogs. How am I ever going to go back to an apartment? Huh? How can I live the way that I want to live? Okay, I see what the problems are, right. but you have to understand what kind of man Dad is. What kind of man is your father? Well, he's two different people. And one is the guy you met who's nice and warm, and the other guy is the tough businessman. Now, you should be prepared for a lot more resistance. He can be really tough, especially when he's pushed. Yeah, well, so can I. But, Joey, you're not in quite the same position Dad's in. I mean, he is one of the most powerful men in the country, and he didn't get that way by walking softly. What am I supposed to do? Roll over and play dead? No. Man, I am just telling you what to expect. Are you saying I'm not going to win on this? Yes, Joey. That is exactly what I am saying. Oh, Rachel, what a nice surprise. Nice to see you again, Liz. Is Mac busy? Uh, no, he's at the plant, but he won't mind if I page him, especially since it's you. Well, it's probably going to take him quite a while to get over here. Oh, no, it only takes about five minutes, but I expect him back around four o'clock. 
Mm. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll wait for him. Besides, I wanted to ask you something. Go ahead, ask. Mac and I are giving a small party tomorrow. We were wondering if you and Jim could be there. Oh, how sweet. But Jim is still sick, you know. No, I didn't know. Is it serious? Well, it's just a summer cold, but he's still recuperating. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, would you like to come yourself? Well, I really better take care of Jim. Mm. If I don't, someone else will. Someone else? She's everywhere these days. Who are we talking about, Liz? Margot, look. Margot Grove, I thought you knew. Knew that she was looking after Jim? In more ways than one. An ex-Las Vegas showgirl. Can you imagine? Well, actually, I have met her. Mom knows her through Jerry, you know. She says she's very nice. Oh, yes, she seems very nice. And, and Jim is mesmerized by her. She wove her spell with puree of vegetables. And Jim can't extricate himself. I went over there with hot soup for his cold, and she was this in the is kitchen. Sounding very melodramatic, Liv. Well, I'll lose him if I'm not careful, Rachel. But people don't choose food like they choose people. You don't know Jim's appetite. Well, I'll see what you mean. Anyway, I still think it's a dirty pool. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Liz. Mr. Mr. Dunlap. It certainly is nice to see you both again. Can I help you, Mr. Dunlap? Yes, I think you can, Liz. Yes? Um, I'm going to go make a phone call in Max's office. Is that all right? Oh, of course. Max should be here shortly. Okay. How can I help you, Mr. Dunlap? Well, now, I have got a problem. I need to get in touch with Tracy. <laughs> She's still on her honeymoon. Uh, yes, I know. I know that. But, uh... She forgot to leave her address before she left. She didn't forget. She wants to keep her whereabouts a secret. Uh, yes, I know that too. Uh, but uh, you see, that's what she told people. She gave me special dispensation, so to speak, for business reasons, you understand. Well, I understand, but uh, I can't help you. I mean... I don't know their whereabouts myself. Well, didn't she mention a city she might be in? I mean, if I knew the city, I could start phoning the hotels. Well, heavens, is it that much of an emergency? Yes, it really is. I wouldn't dream of bothering you otherwise. Well, I, I guess a postcard would have a city or a town. Well, she sent a postcard? Oh, she sent me several. They're traveling around quite a bit, so they sent them from different parts of the state. What state? Florida. You mean you didn't even know? Well, you, Yes, yeah, of course, Florida. Well, of course, Tracy told me Florida. I like... must have... Oh, no. You know what I did? I lent them to the girls in the office pool. I just can't resist bragging about how happy Russ and Tracy are. Yes, the, uh, the happy newlyweds. <laughs> Tracy wrote me that she hopes her honeymoon never ends. She's a very lucky girl. Oh, my darling nephew Russ is the lucky one. I think he must be the happiest man in the whole world right now. Well, like I said, I mean, I'm not just worried about them. Well, I might be out of a job, too. Look, you're different. You don't have so much to worry about. Well, that's news to me. Look, honey, would you please stop paying this thing? All right. Why don't you try to relax? I can't, I can't. What about a swim? Might make you feel better? Joey, honey, what is it? Why can't you calm down? I'm just not comfortable here, Kit. You afraid uh, Miranda's gonna walk in on us any minute? Look, I'm serious. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna be, gonna be for much longer. We're gonna be back in our own Still, house. I, I can't wait. Kid? Yeah? Yeah? Have you had a swim? Oh, uh, no, I was just thinking about something. My goodness, it looks by the expression on your face, whatever you were thinking about, you'd like to forget. Guard, would you please watch my flower beds and keep that 
animal out of my desk. Listen, lady, I'm supposed to protect this place. How do you expect me to do it without my dog? I don't expect you to get rid of the dog. I just expect you to monitor the dog, please, and keep him away from the planet areas. Lady, that animal's a trained killer. You tell her where she can and can't go. Security people, they're impossible. Our staying here has been inconvenient for you, hasn't it? No, absolutely not. And it really does me a world of good to have a fight at least once a day. And listen, I have a terrific idea. Why not we go into town if you're bored with sitting around this pool and get our nails done? That should cheer you up. Believe me, my nails are the last thing on my mind. Okay? I have another thought, and I know you're going to like this one. Okay, what's that? Mac and Rachel's party tomorrow night. You're going, aren't you? Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe? That kind of an answer is maybe. Of course you're going. Well, it really depends on Joey. He walked out of here pretty upset. Kit, he's going to come right back. Now, don't you worry about that. And he loves Mac and Rachel. They want to go. Yeah. And he probably should see them while they're still together. Aunt Miranda. No, I, I know. I know you don't believe me, but I'm telling you, there's something wrong in that marriage. Honestly. I was in Matt Corey's office the other day. I just stopped by to say hello, and Rachel was there, and she was parading her happiness around that office like Melanie and Gone with the Wind. And do you think that's just an act? Kit, I really have always been able to feel undercurrents with people, and I'm telling you, that woman is in some sort of state. A state of bliss, if you ask me. Uh -huh. All right. Have it your own way. I just wish I were as happy as Mac and Rachel Corey. Darling, I would be very careful what I wished for if I were you. And now, the next part of Another World. Where are you? I I'm in Mac's office. I don't have much time. Sure. Then, uh, what is it? Well, it's, it's about tomorrow. Are you going to be there? Yeah, I'll be there if you still want me to be there. Good. I have a favor to ask of you. All right. What is it? Well, Miranda and Taylor are going to be at the party. At least I think they are. Taylor might not be able to make it, and I was wondering if you could pick up Miran Miranda and bring her to the party. Well, uh, you know, Miranda and I aren't exactly friends. It's just a ride, Mitch. Could you do it? Yeah, I'll pick her up if you want me to pick her up. You're going to tell me what's going on? Nothing's going on. You sure you're not playing some sort of game? Mitch, first you complain because I, I don't see enough of you, and now you're complaining because I've invited you to a party? No. I'm not complaining. I just want to know what's going on. Are you going to be there? I told you. I'll be there. Thanks. Hey, there's my favorite girlfriend. Hi, Mac. I, I, Liz said it was okay to wait in here. Sure. Hello? Who was it? I uh, called the plant to find out if you were on your way. I guess I got disconnected. Well, never mind. I'm here now. And you know what I was just thinking before I came no, through that door? I was just thinking, thinking of you. <laughs> my wishes came true. Because you're my favorite woman. <laughs> and because you make me happier than I've ever been in my life. And you also make me feel guilty. Why? Because I don't think I deserve to have everything I've ever wanted out of life. I feel that way a lot, too. But. If I'm going to get anything done for the party tomorrow night, I've got to go home. Hey, you just got here. Well, I know. No, I didn't. I've been here for a while. I was talking to Liz, and you've got lipstick all over you. Well, I'm sorry I was so late getting back. Well, you didn't know I was going to be here. No, I sure didn't know I would have been here. Excuse me. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, I forgot. Tell him to come right it's in. It's okay, I'm going. Taylor Holloway. Oh. His appointment completely slipped my mind. Uh, See what you hello, do to me? Rachel. 
How yes? nice to see you. Oh, I just use that line, Weber. Hoping to see Weber. you tomorrow at the party. You oh, know? yes. Well, listen, if I could give you an answer right now, I would. But my plans are broken so often, I end up disappointing a lot of people, including myself. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. But I've arranged for Mitch Blake to bring Miranda to the party in case you're not there. Well, good. That way she won't have to count on me. Yeah. Does uh, Miranda really know Mitch that well? Well, you don't have to know somebody really well to come to a party with them. No, you got a point there. Still, doesn't that seem like an odd combination? No, I don't think it's odd at all. Besides, they deserve each other. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. I don't blame you with all these uh, armed guards around. The place feels like a prison camp. You've noticed. How can I help it? You get within 50 yards of the place and you're given the third degree. Well, most of the time I'm not aware of it, but uh, sometimes it does get to me. You know, it must, uh, must really bug Joey, huh? It's a drag on both of us. Well, how was your trip? How was it to get away? It was wonderful. Like a second honeymoon? Well, I wouldn't exactly describe it that way, but it was very restful. Now, aren't you two on a uh, perpetual honeymoon? It's been hard, Craig. Uh, we've both been so tense lately that it took most of the time just for us to get, I don't know, back to feeling kind of normal. That means you didn't see any of uh, our old friends in Newport? No. Well, I didn't think they were the kind of people that Joey would enjoy. And, well, to tell you the truth, I don't think... I have that much to talk about with him, either. You really don't feel like talking to me, either, do you? Well, why do you say that? Look on your face when you saw me. It's pretty hard to hide your disappointment. Craig, that had nothing to do with you. I was just kind of hoping that might have been Joey coming back. Where'd he go? He had a disagreement with my father, and he... He walked out. What? I thought that, uh... I thought Taylor liked Joey. He does. It's just that Dad wants us to live in a safe place, and that means buying a house, and Joey's opposed to it. Uh, Joey wants to go back to the apartment. Yes. Does that idea scare you? Only in the fact that I'd be cooped up again. Is there anything I can do to help? No, thanks. Joey and I have to work out our problems ourselves. Well, tell me what you've been doing. Well, uh, oh, I got a new assignment with Brava. Oh, working with Amy in Northern California? No, no, that idea's been scrapped. Uh, Cecile is sending us up to the North Woods above, uh, above Bay City to do some fashion stuff. Well, that's where Joey and I went on our honeymoon. It's beautiful, very untouched. So I've heard, so I've heard. Now, the thought of Amy and me in the great outdoors roughing it, that should bring a smile to your face. <laughs> <laughs> it is a funny picture. Do you have any last words in case we don't come back? Uh, be aware of things that go bump in the night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I've got a great idea. This may be just what you need. Well, you just made me laugh. I'll listen to anything now. Look, why don't you join Amy and me and the Bravo crew when we shoot the layout? You want me tagging along while you're working? Sure, of course. Why not? Well, look, the scenery is beautiful. You're, you're going to be free. Uh, we don't work nights, so we could have a ball. And no reporters, either. Look, do me a favor. Just think about it for a day or two. Huh? Well, hello, Kit. Oh, hello, Brad. Craig. Hi. Well, you think uh, anyone would mind if I went for a dip? I've been working on my new boat all day, and I am in desperate need of some swimming and some sunning. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm on the way out, so my vote doesn't count. Brad, stay. I was just thinking about going in myself. Okay. Kit. Yes. We think about what we talked about. Bye bye.
Think about what? Well, uh, Amy and Craig are going up to the North Woods to do a fashion layout, and Craig just invited me to go along with the crew. Oh, yeah, but you're not going to do it, right? Oh, I was thinking it might be kind of fun. Kit, I wish you wouldn't trust Craig as much as you do. <laughs> Come on, Brad. I mean, Craig can be a little obnoxious at times, but he's totally harmless. Yeah, I wish I could agree with you on that. Uh, yeah, Kitten, have you heard from Joey yet? Uh, well, I'm sure he'll calm down soon. Uh, listen, honey, if you're that upset, maybe I'd better stick around here for a couple of days. Perhaps I can be of some help to you. No, no, of course I don't mind. Good. All right, call me if you need anything. Sounds like I have a little trouble there. Oh, my son and I, and I have a little disagreement. Mm. Joy Perini is a good boy. Yes, uh, yes, he certainly is. That's what makes it so difficult. I understand that. Anyway, let's not dwell on my problems. Now that I'm going to be around here for a couple of days, let's plan to spend some time together. Great. I'm glad we'll be able to see each other more easily now. We're going to do business together. Oh, yeah, I'm very pleased by that, Mac. Uh, Partnerships in the past have proven to be very lucky. They certainly have. That shipping line is flourishing. And you know, I think you're picking exactly the right time for the expansion you're planning. Good. I'm hoping to return your investment tenfold. <laughs> surprise, surprise, I hope the same thing. <laughs> well, if you're going to be around a few days, uh, may I suggest a little recreation? What do you have in mind? Come out to the house. Early tomorrow afternoon, we'll go for a sail. Mac, there's nothing I'd like better. Wonderful. I haven't had a chance to use the boat much. And we can't depend on this weather holding too much longer. No, no, we better take advantage of it while we can. We got a date. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Yeah? No, no, it's all right. Tell her to come right in. Gwen's here to say hello. Well, marvelous. Well, hi, Matt. Hello, well, Taylor. Dear. Hi, what a pleasant surprise. Well, how have you nice been? Nice to see you. have been great. Nice to laugh. I'm a lot better now that I'm in the company of my two favorite guys, though. <laughs> you look wonderful. Oh, thank you. So do you. Gwen, you haven't told us yet if you're going to come to our dinner party tomorrow night. Oh, yes, of course I am, Mac. I wouldn't miss an occasion like that for anything. Wonderful. Taylor's going to be here for a few days, so I've got his promise, too. Oh, great. So I see that you tycoons are making room in your lives for a little pleasure, huh? Mm -hmm. At last. Speaking of pleasure, uh, who's taking you to the party tomorrow night? Well, nobody that I know of. Well, uh, listen, if I'm not called away suddenly, uh, would you consider letting me pick you up? Of course I consider it. I'd like that very much. Thank you. Good. Listen, I've got a lot of work to do. I'm going to take care of some business. See you tomorrow. OK, man. Good talking to you. And Gwen, 7 o'clock, all right? Indeed. I'll see you then, too. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. He's a nice man, isn't he? He thinks a lot of you, too. That's very clear. I must say, it's nice when somebody like Taylor pays attention to you, you know. From what I saw, you affect him the same way. Won't you sit down? Sure, thanks, Mac. Willis said that you spoke to him the other day? Yeah, that's right. I talked to him again. You know, I noticed a change in him. He seems to be terribly, terribly obsessed with his work lately. Yeah, he's working 16 or 18 hours a day at it, from what I can understand. Do you think you can fit in with that kind of schedule if you do go over to join him? I don't know. That's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid I won't fit in. I tell you, every time I speak to him on the phone, I feel like I'm jumping right back into a pressure cooker. Stay tuned for the conclusion of Another World. Stop the pain. 
deal. No small talk, all right? I'm in no mood. All right, no small talk. No, so how about this, big talk? I happened to see Rachel Carey this morning. Where? Over at Carey Publishing Company. I went there to see uh, Russ's Aunt Liz, to find out where Tracy is. Did she tell you? <laughs> no. No, but that's where I saw Rachel. Pregnancy really becomes her. When's the baby due? Jason, how do I know? Hey, what'd you think? Huh? What? I said, what'd you think? I think you ought to think about another career. Here we go again. I'm leaving. All right? Aren't you a little cocky for a manager who's about ready to lose one of his clients? Well, Tracy will be back any day now. Mm -hmm. Yes, with the full bloom of motherhood in her beautiful cheeks. Will you <laughs> say it? Mm. Why? Why do you provoke him like that? <laughs> I wish Tracy would come back pregnant. It would serve him right. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just calm down? Yeah, calm down about Jason and Tracy and her future brood. Why is it you want to talk about kids that way? Huh? Children, you know? They're beautiful, all right? So don't just go putting them down. Oh, I'm not putting them down. I just don't understand why anyone would want to have any, that's all. Cindy. We have to talk. Yeah? Things are moving right along with Kit and me. Oh, so she's falling for you now, then. I'm afraid it's a long way from that, but I think I talked her into going up to the North Woods with me in my next assignment. And how did you manage that one? There's big trouble in the marriage. She wants to get away. Well, congratulations. Wish I could say the same. You're falling down on the job with Brad. Cindy. Something's on your mind. What is it? Uh, I don't know yet. <laughs> Join us each weekday at this time for the continuing story of Another World.